Time now for Homeschooled as we're joined by Mark Melusis and Sal Licata. And Sal, I'm going to begin with you since you and Stephen Matz both love the pizza at Little Vincent's in Lake Ronkonkoma. But even though there had been plenty of chatter lately about Matz being traded, how disappointing is it that he never reached the level that so many people thought he could with the Mets? I think it's very disappointing, Eamon. And we know he's a nice guy, but his performance on the field never lived up to the hype. We heard about him being mentally tough. When he came up here, we saw anything but. Remember, too, his debut was great. Grandpa Matz is out there. He's hitting. He's pitching well. So there were high expectations before he showed up. Then he showed up, burst onto the scene, went 4-0 to start. Disappointment from Steven Matz year in, year out. And I always had high hopes for him, being the lefty in that rotation, maybe being a compliment to guys like Harvey and DeGrom and Syndergaard and Wheeler. And he just never lived up to the hype. It was always one thing or another. Injuries or lack of performance very disappointing end to his Mets career yeah I mean it, it started off well and then it ended in an absolute thud uh, whether it be the injuries lack of availability mental toughness on the mound something the Mets thought uh, high, that he was going to be a great big game pitcher their scouts when he's coming up through the farm and it just didn't work I mean it just did not equate and you had a fair amount of upside to him when you looked at him uh, being a lefty being a power arm uh, a compliment to the guys in that rotation at that time whether it be you know Matt Harvey Jacob DeGrom Noah Syndergaard and obviously Zach Wheeler and he said oh, okay here we go and it just was never was there for a multitude of different reasons and I think at times he was his own worst enemy on his mat on on the mound he couldn't overstate overcome mistakes that were made in the field behind him we saw that the pension for giving up the big home run numerous times or or not being able to cut off a team at the knees when they were putting up a crooked uh, number in an inning. So uh, he needed a change of scenery. Maybe it'll work in Toronto. He needed to get the hell out of New York. And the Mets as an organization, uh, I think, did right by Steven Matz by moving him. And I think he'll, he might be better in Toronto. It just wasn't going to work here in New York.